Some said it doesn't matter which distribution you use for gaming when it comes to Linux because you can always customize whatever you want later. But what if someone doesn't want to learn how to customize Linux but still wants to play games on it? Will the distribution matter to those people? Let's find out. For this video, let's compare three of the most famous Ubuntu-based distributions to see how easy each one is to set up a bare minimum to play games, and what are the benchmarks produced by each of them. I will try Red Dead Redemption 2 and Assassin's Creed Origins benchmark with Mango Hut logging on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Pop! OS to help you start Linux gaming today. Let's start with Ubuntu. After the system installation, I used the driver manager program to install NVIDIA driver. I chose the version 515, which was the latest available version that is not the open kernel. I can see the desktop working properly after reboot. Then I set up the Flatpak by following the official guide on flatpak.org, which took 5 minutes. I installed Steam, Mango Hut, Bottles, and Flat Seal after that without any blockers. It's time to run games and benchmark. Let's start with the bottles. I imported the game backup from my Fedora setup in this video. With the proper permissions in the flat seal and VLAN desktop, I was able to run the benchmark. As I mentioned in this video, I started Mango Hot for the part of the benchmark without any loading screen, and I got 23.5 for the 0.1% load. 30.1 for the 1% low, average 45.7, and 97% maximum was 58.9, while the in-game benchmark gave 21.98 as the lowest, 44.75 as the mid, and 85.55 as the highest. Then it is time for the Steam. The new Steam UI has Proton option under Compatibility section. With the Ubisoft issue solved by using Proton Tricks, I started Assassin's Creed Origins benchmark. I was getting 22.3 for the 0.1% low, 36.4 1% low, 55.9 as the average, and 71.1 as the 97% high. Now let's move on to Linux Mint. Similarly, I use its driver manager, which also has a GUI interface. I chose the latest version available, which was 5.30 this time, and the system worked fine after the reboot. I changed the desktop to the performance mode and started to set up the games again. Good thing this time is that Flatpak was available out of the box, which saved me 5 minutes and once restart. Assassin's Creed Origins gave some big hiccups during the benchmark which I think was related to the heat generated from the setup process. So I quit the game and cooled it down a bit. I tried it for the second time, which gave me a better result than Ubuntu. I got 22.5 for the 0.1% low, 37.6 1% low, 16.3 for the average, and 78.9 for the 97% high. For Red Dead Redemption 2 in Linux Mint, there were several blockers. First, the bottle refused to start the game. I'm not sure if it was due to the VLAN setting I had in Flat Seal, because on Ubuntu I had the same issue, and switching to VLAN solved this. Given Cinnamon doesn't have a VLAN option to go to, I tried disabling it in Flat Seal, which didn't work. Secondly, when using Flatpak version Lutris, Enabling Mango Hut breaks the game. The native Mango Hut doesn't work on Flatpak Lutris either. And there was a bug in the older version native Lutris provided by Linux Mint, which won't start the game. I also tried importing the game to Steam, like what I did in this video using Boyo R, but the Steam version Proton did not work for this game. So let's just take a look at the game's inbuilt benchmark results, which was 30.19 for the minimum, 82.25 for the maximum, and 51.66 for the average. Let's move on to Pop! OS. 
I love this distribution because all I did was just to download and install the NVIDIA version of the distribution from their website. And Flatpak was also configured out of the box. I didn't have to do anything extra. With Steam and Mango Hut installed, I launched Assassin's Creed Origins. I was getting 24.9 for the 0.1% low, 44.6 FPS 1% low, 68 for average, and 85 as the 97% high. In Red Dead Redemption 2, I got 19.7 FPS for the 0.1% low, 1% low was the 28.7 FPS, 43.7 as the average, and 59.7 as the 97% high. As for the inbuilt gaming benchmark, I got 17.65 for the lowest, 42.47 for the average, and 72.34 for the highest. Let's now do the comparison. Pop OS is definitely the easiest distribution among the three to install NVIDIA drivers. But for gaming in bottles, Pop OS, which has the X11, has the same issue launching Red Dead Redemption 2 like Linux Mint. Because Pop OS doesn't provide an easy way to switch to VLAN by default, I had to follow this Reddit post to achieve that, which can be a bit tricky and scary for some newcomers. Next one is the Linux Mint. If you don't want to use Mango Hut, it will be easy to install Lutris and Proton Up Qt for GE version Proton with Flatpak, especially because Flatpak is installed by default, which means Mint has one last step configuration than Ubuntu for new users to go through. Ubuntu requires both NVIDIA and Flatpak to set up. It will have been the most difficult one to customize, but given that I consider Pop OS to be more difficult to enable VLAN than these two steps, I will put Mint in first place, Ubuntu in second, and Pop OS in third. Next is the performance. On Red Dead Redemption 2, we can see Ubuntu and Pop OS have similar results. Ubuntu performed slightly better, but Linux Mint produced the best in-game benchmark result. I will put Ubuntu in the first here because based on the Gamers Nexus post I mentioned in the last video, the 0.1% 1% lows and average FPS from Mango Hut should be considered more accurate. So sadly, even with a better number, Mint will have to come after and then Pop OS. And on Assassin's Creed, Pop OS had a clear advantage over Mint and Ubuntu, especially on the 1% low and average FPS. Finally, I want to mention the settings that I use throughout the video. I didn't change the profile setting to performance in Ubuntu and Pop OS, mainly because I forgot to do so in Ubuntu. Then I realized it might be a common mistake for a new gamer coming over to Linux anyways. So I didn't bother finding the place to change it for Pop OS and left everything as default there. However, I did switch to performance mode in Mint because the GPU icon was simply too obvious to not be noticed by most people. Another issue is that I had to turn off the overlay option inside Ubisoft Connect to make Assassin's Creed Origins work. Otherwise, you will freeze when launching. So there you have it. If you don't need VLAN, you could stick to Pop OS as it is the easiest one to set up and has the best performance. If you don't like GNOME, go with Linux Mint. It has the best in-game, non-accurate benchmark for Red Dead Redemption 2. Ubuntu overall is not a bad choice either if you want to use Wayland. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.